In this video, we're gonna talk about hormonal health and weight loss. Now, maybe you didn't know that hormonal health and weight loss were connected, or maybe you've been struggling with both. We're gonna give you several strategies and tips to support you in achieving hormonal health and weight loss in this video coming up. My name is Dr. Lisa Lewis. I'm a naturopathic doctor and I'm an acupuncturist, a wellness expert, and so many people come to me with hormonal health challenges or weight loss challenges. I think most are coming with both. The people say, I've, I've changed my diet, I've taken out everything I can possibly take out, I don't eat any more wheat, <laughs> I don't, no dairy. I eat vegetables all the time, I'm exercising like crazy, and I, I'm still gaining weight. Or they've done so amazing on their weight loss journey, and then all of a sudden they get to a certain weight, and it stops, their weight loss stops, they plateau. There's a huge connection between hormonal health and weight loss. Now the challenge is that, number one, most people don't recognize the two are connected. Most people think that they can just work their way, work out their way, you know, through, through weight loss, or they can starve themselves or change their diet through weight loss. But if your hormones are out of balance, it's going to be very difficult to lose weight. There's so many hormones that are connected to how your body is able to either lose weight or maintain a healthy weight. So let's talk about a few of those, the reproductive hormones, estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, and primarily estrogen, because again, estrogen is another one of those fat storing hormones. And if the estrogen is out of balance, meaning either you have too much estrogen, um, may not have enough progesterone because estrogen and progesterone actually balance one another. So if you don't have enough progesterone to balance out the estrogen, then it actually creates an estrogen dominance or vice versa as well with testosterone. So if you end up with a, an estrogen dominance, then that will cause weight gain regardless as to, again, what your diet looks like and how much you exercise. Now, we're exposed to a ton of xenoestrogens or estrogenic substances, like um, in plastics. If you uh, store things in plastics that aren't BPA free, we call these xenoestrogens, they'll leach into your food, leach into your water, and those estrogens will get stored into your body. Pesticides, herbicides, all of those um, are what we call hormone disruptors and they will cause an increased um, level of estrogen. If your liver is not imbalanced because most of the, the liver is where most of your um, estrogen and all your hormones are broken down, actually secreted and produced um, in, in your liver. But if your liver is congested and it's not you know, it's not really breaking down those hormones the way it needs to, then your body will uh, store excess estrogen. And again, <laughs> when you store estrogen, you're going to store it around the belly, you're going to store it around the hips, you're going to store it in the thighs. Now, especially during menopause, uh, there's so much more storage happening in the belly, whereas maybe the thighs and, um, and the hips you might be losing a little weight in your hips and your thighs, but your belly will start to increase because you're kind of stealing some of the carbohydrates. It's breaking down the proteins uh, from, your, from your buttocks and from your thighs and redepositing it, <laughs> unfortunately, redepositing it on your belly. So if, you're, if your hormones are out of balance, your estrogen, your progesterone, and testosterone are out of balance, it will then contribute to hormonal weight gain. So we've talked about the causes of hormone imbalance and weight gain. We talked about estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, the reproductive or sex hormones related to weight gain and that contribute to hormone imbalance. All of these things can contribute to 
weight gain. So if you are running on that treadmill, <laughs> exercising like crazy, eating very little, <laughs> practically starving yourself for eating an amazing diet, and you're still gaining weight, or at least you can't lose weight, I encourage you to look at your hormones and, and get tested to understand what hormones are out of balance so that you can achieve your weight loss goals a lot faster. I have a nice gift for you, a free gift in the a description of information of how to balance your hormones. So I encourage you to download that and subscribe because we're going to have tons more videos about hormonal health coming in the future. So I look forward to being able to support you in balancing your hormones and with losing weight <laughs> easily, more efficiently. And, um, and I'll see you in the next video.